Hi, this is Beth with All Array Align. Um, I haven't recorded anything, I think, in maybe six weeks or more. I'd have to look at the date. Um, I have found my move to Texas from New Mexico to be much more disruptive to my being <laughs> than I realized it was going to be. Um, and I've struggled with some depression, but I thought I would just record something tonight um, and try to get back into this. I know I don't have any followers, <laughs> so I know I'm just speaking to myself, but here goes. So I wanted to address the um, releasing of the Mueller report that happened yesterday. We still don't know how much is going to be released to the public. I'm here, I'm <clears throat> have read that maybe um, tomorrow we may get some more news. I'm not sure, um, but I purposely didn't read it read about it yesterday. I didn't feel like I was in quite the right frame of mind. But today I had a phone re reading from a client, and through the phone reading, she asked about it, and that seemed to kind of bring up some information that I just wanted to share briefly what came through to me. Well, I did just a brief one card draw when I was reading with her. And I asked what was going to be the outcome, kind of like the final outcome of that report for Trump. I literally pulled the tower card. Um, I don't think I even have it in front of me right now, but, and then, um, as I read things um, intuitively, um, what I was getting wasn't was that the report itself wasn't going to bring him down. That's that's not what it was. The report is what I was told the first salvo. And I, I hate to say what I saw, but they they showed me. They reminded me. My guide said, "Remember 9/11 in the planes." Okay. Um, no, they're not talking about a an actual terrorist attack. What they're talking about is how when the planes first hit, and I know millions of us remember watching these, these events unfold, um, it was traumatic and we were sitting up there looking, you know, glued to our television sets if we, if we weren't there, um, and looking at the fire, and I can remember all the concern. But then the tower came down, and there was time between when the, when the planes hit and the tower came down. And that was one of the images I was shown. Like it's not, this report itself is not going to bring it down, but it is the beginning of that. And it's the first salvo. And it's, it is going to reveal some things that are going to be shocking, I believe. And I think it's that feeling of what is it going to reveal that we don't know for sure. Other images that I was shown were, it, it's as if, um, when a, a um, volcano is, is in the first stages of, of its eruption and it begins to shoot off the rocks and, and there's fire, but it hasn't completely erupted. I just kept getting shown images of, after image of disasters, <laughs> um, but that it wasn't the disaster itself yet. It wasn't going to bring him down yet. And I was shown it like um, these rocks being thrown and fires breaking out. And the way um, my guides were explaining to me is this, Mueller has, I feel like almost um, farmed <laughs> some things out. And we know um, SDNY, uh, Southern District New York uh, is investigating Trump and there's a lot of things going on. Um, and that's what I think, these are gonna be fires. And then after I was shown the little fires breaking out which I believe are the numerous other investigations and cases, I saw them like like um, the fire just blowing up. Uh, so I don't think that this is the end. I do think this is the beginning of the end, um, but this is not going to be over quickly. Um, if, if people think it is, I think they're going to be disappointed, um, but I do think there's going to be some shocking things come out um, and I'm still kind of holding to my timeline. I don't know if it's correct, but I was told, um, anywhere from April through October. And that hasn't, my guides haven't told me anything different as of yet. Um, I still feel him leaving and I, my brain wants to argue that, 
but my intuition says no he will leave he will leave he will get on his jet and he will leave I also um, was shown when I was giving this reading for the client um, that there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes right now I feel like there are a lot of military um, and I and, and I think maybe high up military and also maybe even co the corporate the def defense manufacturers I don't know there's I feel like there's a lot of behind the scene things going on that we don't even have a clue and at some point um, he's going to be asked to leave I think there's going to be some kind of negotiation that he gets to leave and, um, and maybe his family's not charged and he gets to leave with part of his fortune <laughs> um, but but he does leave um, so I don't know if this is what other psychics are getting but I believe this is the beginning of the end but it's not the end um, the other image that they were showing me was like D-Day and that when D-Day happened, um, it was the beginning of the end. But there was still um, months and months of battles and death. And, um, you know, the German people fought to the end um, before the surrender of Germany. And I get that feeling with Trump. Like, there's going to be a digging in um, and a lot going on. Um... And I do feel like we're going to experience some, I hate to say it, but I, the other thing I was seeing was more right wing um, white supremacist terrorism um, before this is over. I don't want to be right about that, honestly. Um, so that's how it looks to me. And um, I'm not sure how other readers or psychics are seeing it, but that's how I see it. All right, I'm going to try to be doing this daily. Um, and I'm trying to get back on to the groove. And um, blessings, and I hope everyone has a good evening. Thank you.